Portland's homeless problem is spreading to the suburbs, and it has smaller cities here in the metro area now scrambling just to keep up. As Fox 12 Simon Gutierrez explains now, the city of Hillsborough is having to get creative with its limited resources. According to public data, Washington County's homeless population spiked in 2019 to 530 people, up from just over 100 the year before. Here in Hillsborough, that's meant extra work and hands-on work for two Hillsborough police officers. So about a year ago, most of this was deer trails at best. The difference a year makes. This area has turned into like essentially a, a homeless superhighway of just trail systems. Officers Jason Becker and Mike Absher walk regularly through Hillsborough's Dairy Creek Park, checking up on the people that now camp there. Is anybody else in there? Is it just nope. you? Okay. Over the past year, they've seen a steady influx of campers. All the folks that we've spoken to have come from Portland. All those resources are depleted. They, they're stretched thin. Uh, if you're lucky enough to get involved with those resources, how far it's going to take you or sustain you is a huge question mark. They hear stories about a violent subculture on the streets of Portland, pushing more people to the suburbs. Folks are just tired of being victimized, so they jump on the nearest available max and they'll ride out here, which is where it ends. Which leaves these two Hillsborough officers to deal with the problems that come up. We ended up uh, pulling two folks out of this camp yesterday on warrants. Periodically, they'll tell campers to move along. We had some nonsense happen in the park. We were going to have to tell people that they got to go. It's not going to happen today. But they're also having conversations. Are you Memphis? Yeah. Oh, good. Hey. Yeah. Nice to meet you. I see you again. Today, they're introducing Kenneth Cook, who goes by Memphis, to someone who can help him apply for disability benefits. Okay. Cook says he was hit by a train a couple years back. And it split me all the way to my brain. Broke my neck in three places. It broke both clavicles. After five years living outside, he says he's ready for a change. I went off the streets. I mean, I want a place. I don't care where. In a recent effort to tidy up the park, the officers handed out gift cards to restaurants to anyone willing to clean up their mess. Today, it's a train ticket. There you go. Awesome, awesome. We've been able to identify the folks that are, are willing to uh, kind of rise up above where they're at and assist us. You know, the fo it's helped us establish, like, for lack of a better phrase, some, some allies, I guess, that are actually out here. For the most part, they use enforcement as the last option. But there is an endpoint where it, it, it doesn't matter what you're doing, we're still going to move you out because we have an obligation to make sure that this is a safe place and that this park is clean. Big city problems now squarely in their backyard. But in at least some cases, I'm going to make you pinky swear, okay? Opportunities to make a difference. You know, everything happens for a reason. So what's my reason and what's going to happen? We'll see. The city of Hillsborough partners with the Metro RID program to do periodic cleanups here at Dairy Creek Park. Officers typically give 24 hour notice and encourage people to move their possessions before that happens. Reporting in Hillsborough, Simon Gutierrez, Fox 12, Oregon.